Good morning, Laws of Hanukkah. Uh, Tough Reish Ayin Gimel, which is 670, number 3 in the Mishnah Baruch. Ein mas pidin behem, ala lechacham befanov. On Hanukkah, if someone dies, God forbidden, then there is no eulogy which is delivered, unless it's a scholar and it's in front of him, meaning it's at the funeral, it's not a eulogy which happens uh, after, it's some other place. Ve'emes anem, yom shemes bo'av o'em. There's a custom that the day, the yard site, when people's parents pass away, the, the anniversary of their death, the, uh, the child fasts on that day. But if a person's parent passed away on Hanukkah, there is no fast. There's a, um, some people fast if they had a, a troublesome dream. So whether one is allowed to fast uh, for that on Hanukkah, one should look earlier. That's a certain prayer that we say at funerals. People say it at funerals. So let's see what the Mishnah Bura says about that. He'll explain what we just read more. So, the Mishnah Bura says, let's say someone did fast for the yard site of a parent that was during Hanukkah. So the Mishnah Bura writes, or if he actually, it says, even if, if he fasted for the, for the anniversary of the death of a Torah scholar during Hanukkah, one has to have a new fast after Hanukkah to atone for the fact that he fasted on Hanukkah. Since Hanukkah is a festive time, we're not supposed to fast on those days. So if someone fasted when he wasn't supposed to, he has to fast again to make up for that. The rule is, is that we, that a person at a funeral doesn't say the prayer of Tzidok Adin on any day where Tachlan is not recited. And the Tachlan prayer is not said on Hanukkah, so therefore Tzidok Adin is also not said on Hanukkah. However, the days before and the days after Hanukkah, not on Hanukkah itself, one could say to the kadin in the comments in the tafresh pevav the inyan has been gufa harbi makilin the afim and near to the hakmer ke eza poiskim the machmer be has been lifneim um mele gam to the kadin in lo morako ponim la achreihem bevade in the hakmer the yuchal loimer to the kadin with hankas with regard to many brings those some are even stringent not to have a eulogy before or after Hanukkah. Uh, and and to not and to say the tzidduk in prayer, but the Mishnah Bura says if uh, this person has uh, follows the law to not give a eulogy before or after Hanukkah, he says for sure after Hanukkah there's no reason to be stringent for a person and not say the tzidduk in prayer after Hanukkah. So in general, um, on Hanukkah itself, one does not give a eulogy unless it's a scholar in front of him. And one does not say the Tzidduk Adin prayer. Avelus l'kuliyam anoig b'chanukah. However, Avelus, mourning, is observed on Hanukkah. We know that if a person dies on, let's say, the middle of Pesach, or dies right before Pesach, that mourning is not observed during Pesach or Sukkot, or Rosh Hashanah and Kippur, the, the Torah-level holidays, where there is extra happiness, the customs of mourning, Shiva, and, and the like, are not observed. However, Hanukkah, Morning is observed on Hanukkah. It's a rabbinic festival. In Onain, Pater Miner Hanukkah. Now in Onain, an Onain is a person whose uh, relative died, either a parent or a sibling or child or a spouse, and they have a very unique status in Halacha. An Onain is exempt from all commandments. Why? There's two reasons given for this. One reason is, is practically he's involved in the mitzvah of burying his relative, so that takes precedence, so he is exempt for, from doing other mitzvahs. And the other reason is because the honor of the dead person. If one is not engaged in trying to take care of the funeral of the dead person, but rather he's doing mitzvahs, then it's, it looks dishonorable to the person who died, like the person really, you know, the relative doesn't care about the deceased. So for those two reasons, an onain doesn't perform any mitzvahs. He doesn't wear tefillin, doesn't daven, doesn't make blessings. So, so too, an onain, God forbid, someone's relative died on Hanukkah, and before the funeral, before the burial, he does not light Hanukkah candles. 
Hanukkah lights. Because of Eli Rabbah, the Ishto Tadlik, rather his wife should light. So if a person's, God forbid, his, his relative, his, his, uh, one of his parents died, his wife should light Hanukkah candles for the house. Now, can an onin, we just said an onin, this person who was involved in burying his relative, he's not allowed to do, mit- he, he doesn't do mitzvahs, but is he allowed to do them voluntarily? Is he allowed to answer amen? So the Mishnah Bura says to look in Shin Mem Aleph, and it looks like, according to the general rule over there, that an onin should not be stringent upon himself to do mitzvahs. It's actually a, a problem to, to be stringent and to do mitzvahs. Like we said, one of the reasons that an onain doesn't do mitzvos is because it's dishonorable to the deceased. He looks like he's not concerned about the deceased. So one should not be stringent to do mitzvos, and one an onain should not even answer amen if um, if someone else makes a blessing. However, he says, let's say it's someone's wife, or he doesn't have a wife, is and he's in the house uh, to light the candles for him. He... Um, should nevertheless, even though an onin doesn't do mitzvos, there's an aspect of, of lighting Hanukkah candles here, which is to publicize the miracle that was done for the Jewish people. So he says, nevertheless, without a blessing, an onin should light the Hanukkah candles if his wife is not there to light for him. Okay. A, a deaf person who is unable to hear, but he's able to speak. He should light the Hanukkah candles because he's like a... Uh, um, a person with his full mental capacity, uh, his full m- mental capacity is with him, so he should light Hanukkah candles. There's a discussion, but he's not talking about it here, of a deaf person who cannot uh, cannot hear and cannot speak. That um, such a person is exempt from mitzvos, but a, a person who is deaf but can speak should definitely light the Hanukkah candles. Okay, sorry about the topic today it was a little a little morbid, but it's all halacha that we uh, we have to know. And uh, we'll start soon about how to light the candles, where the candles should be lit, how many should be lit, and things of that nature. Okay, looking forward. Have a great day.